All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of upkeeping on the mini truck. So uh, I think I'm going to touch up the bed uh, with some uh, fresh bed liner. Just, that's just because um, I haven't been posting videos on the mini truck because I've been using it every weekend. Um, so it's been a little bit of a workhorse for me. Uh, so I've had uh, gravel, uh, stone dust, mulch all dumped uh, into the bed and uh and i've been shoveling out directly uh, out of the bed so uh the bed liner took a little bit of a beating uh this uh bed liner is not the toughest stuff it's not like the rhino bed liners but it's cheap so if you need to touch it up it's an inexpensive thing to do and it's quick to do um and then uh i have a, other little things i got some decals uh i got new lug nuts uh, and I also have um, uh, probably going to be trying to install this USB and possibly uh, painting the wheels. So uh, I got this, uh, uh, I guess it's like a graphite gray. Uh, that's the color I had painted the factory wheels with the ATV tires. Um, and I like that look on it. Uh, it kind of matches the roll bars. So the plan is to uh, paint the 15 inch uh, Civic Del Sol wheels with the same uh, paint. So uh, let's get to it. All right guys, so the first thing to do is gonna be to wash her. So um, you can kind of see what I mean about the wheels. Um, these are the fact, the, you know, just the OEM finish and it's pretty dull. They were uh, glossy black when I got them. So it's not a very um, good uh, coating that they put on there. Uh, and here's the, the bed. You can kind of see all the scratches from the shovel, uh, from shoveling in. So it, nothing's down to bare metal. Um, it's just the white paint underneath uh, except for I found oh yeah here there's two little uh, spots here that I have to grind down and treat because uh, that went down to bare metal and it we've had some rain so it rusted a little bit but uh, like I said first thing to do is uh, wash her up and uh, move on to the next thing
All right, guys, bed liner's all done. It took about one and a half cans to just touch it up, but I used the rest of the can, might as well. Um, and uh, again, it was just a touch up, but looks good as new. Very sunny out here, so probably a lot of glare, but. Um, <clears throat> so next, uh, I got some decals. I'm gonna put those on. Well, remove all this masking tape and put some decals on. There, the logo's in place. Uh, I got a still a little letter peeking through here from the old decal that's covered by the fender flare, so I gotta get rid of that. But um, these are the I use the negative part of the decal, um, I think that looks more catches the eye more. In the back, I use the, the positive of the decal, so um, and I tried to put in that white area of the paint job. If you guys are wondering where I got these decals, I actually made them all. I had some uh, carbon fiber uh, vinyl um, laying around. I have about like uh, three by three feet. And uh, what I did was I I found an image of the Acti logo online and I traced it in Illustrator, uh, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and then I used, I printed that out um, and I made a stencil and then actually cut these letters out with an exacto. I left a little bit of the corners in there so that the letters would stay in there. Um, but that's basically it. So um, if you get yourself some vinyl and, uh, and you got a printer and a computer, you could do these yourself. It's just very time consuming. Luckily, the Acti logo is a lot of straight lines. So um, the only curvature is the C. But other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So if you guys are interested, you could kind of take a shot at it. So now that I uh, painted the bed, the uh, rubber trim on the top edge of the um, <clears throat> of the of the side uh, lift gates and the back lift gate, um, the rubber trim looks kind of faded. I, I found this. It's made by Mothers. It's um, it's a rubber trim. Uh, restore but it's got ceramic coating in it so I'm gonna try it see how that works and hopefully it'll make it look better all right time to do the wheels so uh, I'm gonna put on the uh, ATV tires uh, so that I could paint all the wheels at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, painted stupla color. It's uh, uh, especially for wheels and the color is graphite. Um, but that's what I'm gonna be using. It's the same stuff I used on the factory rims uh, or wheels before I put on the uh, ATV tires.
All right, here they are, I'll paint it up. I really overestimated the paint. I bought four cans, one per wheel, and I ended up using less than one can for the all four wheels. So uh, one can should do it. All right, so um, I also want to install this little USB port uh, just so I have something to charge my phone with um, while I'm driving. This, uh, you can get these all over eBay. There's all sorts of different styles. But this one, I've, I've used these before. Uh, they basically have like a, um, a cylindrical body that's threaded and you basically just need to make a round hole uh, on the panel and uh, and then you threw this you thread this nut on from behind you only need a, a ground and uh, a, a, a accessory power supply 12 volt um, and uh, that's basically it so uh, I actually started already removing so I, I took out the uh, the, the section of the console that covers the shifter that's just held on by four screws uh, one here one in the back here uh, one here and then there's one on this side right here uh, and then um, after you remove that you could pry this this section off here well I shouldn't say that you you have to remove some screws um, and you actually have to remove the shelf that goes underneath underneath the glove compartment that's this guy right here um, but uh, once you do that you should give yourself enough access that you can see this HVAC tubing in here uh, that runs for the air conditioning if you don't have air conditioning you might not have this I'm not sure uh, but I'm going to pop this off so I have access to the wires that go to the uh, cigarette lighter uh, the cigarette lighter is where I'm gonna get my um, uh, 12 volts because it'll be accessory power that means the only it's only um, working when you have the key turned in the ignition to accessories uh, and ground you should be able to ground it off of the ash, uh, cigarette lighter as well so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, tubing get access to those wires and uh, splice this guy in Alright guys, so a couple of good things and bad things. Um, basically, uh, I was I, I was originally planning on putting it on this bottom shelf, but because I have all my relays back here for all the auxiliary lights, there's not enough spacing behind there uh, because that, that USB port has kind of got like a large body to it. It's almost like two inches long, so it would interfere with those relays. So I decided to go back to the original plan and just mount it. Um, right underneath the uh by the steering column basically underneath here uh the the you know everything's working the bad news is this car for some reason the cigarette lighter is not powered by uh accessories it's the only car i've ever come across that's like that so basically this is constant 12 volts so what's happening is i didn't realize this usb port has a voltmeter built into it see right there it says 12.2 volts so if I leave this on, it'll actually drain the battery because that's only supposed to go on um, when you have the key in the ignition. Now, I have the same thing on two other cars, the same exact piece. They're very cheap. They're like eight, eight or nine bucks each. Uh, they come from China and, um, and they're all connected the same way to the wires from the, ash, uh, from the cigarette lighter and none of them have this issue. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, the installation's all set up. Uh, obviously it's working um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy one on eBay that doesn't have a voltmeter and then it will only actually be drawing power once you actually plug something into it so then it doesn't matter if it runs off accessory power or not um, now if you really want to have that voltmeter you would have to find an accessory uh, wire and the easiest way to do that 
if in this case it, it, since it's not the cigarette lighter it would probably be to get power from the radio because that will not go on until uh, you have the um, the key in the uh, in the number two position on the ignition so uh, but I'm, I'm satisfied with this I'm well partially satisfied I'm just gonna go because I, I, I don't need a voltmeter in this car so I'm just gonna go and spend the eight nine bucks and get one that doesn't have a built-in voltmeter and uh, and then I'll be done with that so uh, I can scratch this off the list and next is really just to get the wheels back on I actually miss the way these these wheels look with the fat tires but they're just not good for the highway so um, I let the uh, wheels dry overnight because I wanted to make sure that uh, the paint was nice and dry so when I tighten the lugs I wouldn't damage them so I'm gonna get these on the car and go for a spin hey guys so I just want to show you uh, a lot of people hack the top of their strut uh, towers here they just like rip it apart and cut it with a um, you know a grinder or, or whatever it might be I I kind of bought a nice hole saw to do it and even though it looks like it's uneven this this is actually a two inch uh, diameter hole I just got these plastic caps and um, these are a perfect fit I mean it looks like factory now Oop, just gotta snap it in but there you go I mean compared to some of the people that hack the top of their strut towers if I was ever to sell this thing and the person didn't care for having a lift kit I could just remove the lift kit and you know they would never know this thing had a lift kit because this is so nice and clean uh, so this part is, is easy to do I have to un unbolt that seat to get access to that strip tower um, it doesn't have the lift mechanism like this one does but um, in any case I think I'm done with the interior let's move on to the wheels so uh, I bought these uh, lug nuts for the Acti uh, I didn't pay attention when I was buying them so apparently they're made out of aluminum they, they weigh nothing um, I, that wasn't the purpose of this it wasn't to get light, lightweight lug nuts I just wanted to get nice uh, gunmetal ones that match the uh, paint job on the wheels uh, I hope that these are not like crappy where they're gonna strip but um, they seem to come with a um, an adapter to get them on and the biggest difference is there's like a key right there you can see it like a little tooth that engages on the uh, body of these uh, lugs. So um, I guess it's kind of like a, oh, I guess not all of them have it. So I guess it's like a, there you go. This one has it. It's got a little, so I guess that's like a lock. Um, uh, I guess it's probably one per wheel that has that detail so that the wheels can't get robbed. But I have steel wheels. I doubt anybody's gonna wanna rob the wheels on my truck but anyway i'm gonna put these on i think they'll they'll look nice um hopefully they're not crap and uh let's get the wheels on this is a ryan little production <laughs> 